To access the inner parts of the air drive section, you must first loosen the nuts on the air pilot tube. The pilot stems are located here and down below. You'll need to use a hex wrench to disconnect the external cycling valve housing here and here. But first, let's loosen the cycling valve tie rod. Now we can loosen the hex bolts to remove the external cycling valve from the pump body. This will reveal the internal parts. Here's the spring and the lower cap pilot stem. Inspect the pilot stem for wear or scoring, and if necessary, refer to your drawing for proper replacement part number. Now remove the hex bolts on the upper cap in order to access the other pilot stem. When performing a complete seal replacement, you'll need to replace the O-rings located on the pilot tube and the flow tube ports, as well as the O-rings on the end of the tubes themselves. These O-rings will be included in your air drive seal replacement kit. To access the internal parts of the air barrel, remove the four tie rods along with the brackets. Now you can open the air barrel. If needed, use a mallet to tap these sections apart. Next, pull out the piston assembly and remove the internal parts from the end cap. As with other models, there are large O-rings located on the end caps where it meets the air barrel, and another large O-ring on the outer diameter of the piston. Also located on the end caps are the stamped packings for the pilot stems. To remove these parts, use one prong of a pair of needle nose pliers to pry them out. During replacement, apply Haskell lubricant to the pilot stem port. Then use the old pilot stem to stack the new replacement parts. First put on the star washer, followed by the bronze backup, and last is the o-ring. Be sure to refer to your instructions for proper order of these parts. Insert these parts into the lubricated hole in the end cap and use a hammer to set them into place. Now pull out the old pilot stem. Follow the same procedure for the other pilot stem packing as well. Once you have fully lubricated all areas and installed new O-rings, you can reassemble your unit. Begin by placing the piston on the upper cap, followed by the barrel. Be sure the barrel fits snugly into place. Now replace the lower end cap. Next, replace the four tie rods and brackets. Refer to your Haskell drawing for proper torque specifications. Now replace the first seal packing for the piston rod. These parts will be included in your seal replacement kit. First, place the seal into the spacer. Next, put on the inner O-ring and the outer O-ring. Put on the other spacer. Now slide this assembly into the piston shaft and push down until it sits flush with the end cap. The spacer assembly consists of the Teflon backup, O-ring, bearing, lip seal, extrusion ring, and another O-ring. When performing a full seal replacement, you'll need to inspect all of these parts for damage. However, only the parts on the left will be included in your seal replacement kit. If other parts are damaged, they will need to be ordered separately. The seal replacement kit parts for the piston head include an O-ring, extrusion ring, and a cup seal. Be sure to inspect all piston head parts for damage and replace if necessary. Reassemble by replacing the O-ring, the extrusion ring with the bevel facing down, and the cup seal. Now put on the bearing, then screw on the end nut. 
Tighten the nut until the holes line up properly to insert the roll pin. Use a vise or soft mallet to push the roll pin into place, making sure not to damage any other parts. Now replace the inner spring, pin guide and ball onto the piston shaft. Then screw on the piston head. Tighten until it bottoms out. Then adjust the hole so that you can insert the other roll pin. Now pull out the piston and lay the unit down to install the roll pin. Use a vise or wood block to aid in driving in the roll pins. Be careful not to damage other parts in this process. The roll pins need to be driven in so that they protrude evenly on either side of the piston shaft. 